Hello family, today is Monday evening, October the 9th, 2017, and I have come on to make some peanut butter cookies. Now to make these peanut butter cookies family, we have, we're going to put together one cup of creamy peanut butter. We got two sticks of unsalted butter, which is equivalent to a half a cup. We're going to put together two teaspoons of bacon powder, about an eighth a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, three cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of brown and white sugar. Let's get started. Let's begin by softening our butter. We're going to take this melted butter and we're going to mix it up with our vanilla, which is about a teaspoon of this. I'm just going to pretty much eyeball it. Okay. And we're going to begin to gradually add our sugars a little bit at a time. Now our brown. One by one, we're going to start adding our eggs. Now we're going to add our peanut butter. Which is one cup of creamy. I'm certain you can use chunky. Um, I just happen to have a preference for creamy. Um, when it comes down to cooking, I can't stress it enough that you cook according to your diet specifications and to your uh, taste. Um, some people might like some nuts in there. Some people might like more this, more that. Whatever your preference is, cook it according to your preference. It's cooking. It's supposed to just taste good. It's not supposed to be so complicated. While our peanut butter mixture is mixing, now we're going to get our dry ingredients together. So I've just placed the salt and the bacon powder in there, but we're going to need two teaspoons of bacon powder. So I'm going to simply get another measurement of that.
just kind of mix that up just slightly is good enough because we're going to mix, put it in our mixer anyway but we still want to mix together that salt and that bacon powder in our all-purpose flour so let's begin to bring them both together now I'm going to do a little bit at a time. Really? Did I do that? Oh my god. Oh shoot. Really, Tina? Oh my god. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just get it cleaned up. I have uh, some bleachy water, which is customary. For me while cooking so we'll just while that's mixing we'll just clean it all up no biggie we got it and we still got it under control This time we gotta go slow. We're going on level one. Okay. I didn't know what it was gonna do that time. I didn't know if it was gonna just mess up again or what, but we got it. <laughs> As you can see, it's beginning to thicken and dough up, so it's coming together. Let's clean it up. Now we do have a dough hook um, for our KitchenAid, but it won't be necessary. We're not going to be doing this for very long anyway. In fact, it's actually done. So, let's get them rolled up and placed on a cookie sheet. Okay, let's transfer our cookie dough to a covered container. My hands are washed, so needn't worry. Who is it? 
Okay, hold on one second. Hold on. Unless you got your key. You got your key? Yeah, I got it. Okay, come on. Okay. Let's get it ready for it to go in the oven. We're going to cook this at 350. Cookies should go between 8 and 11 minutes. Now we're going to take our cookie dough and fork some of it out with clean hands, of course, right? And we're going to take a little bit and we're going to roll it up like so. And we place our fork inside of the water, like so. Then we dip it in sugar, like that. And then we go this way and this way. Sebastian, you just coming in the house? Hey, fella. I cooked them about nine minutes. I set the timer on the oven to ensure that they wouldn't burn. I didn't have any parchment paper. Um, usually you would put them on parchment paper and they won't stick but this Reynolds wrap non-stick works just as well to me so that is what I use and especially if you put it on the dull side the dull side is non-stick side From my home to yours, bon appetit family. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye for now.